you don't play, you don't play. To be being black, or for me, being black is to be powerful, but it's to be misunderstood. I think we've got a glimpse of what our power is with President Obama. We've had enormous glimpse of what our power is with Malcolm X, you know, uh, Marcus Garvey, Martin Luther King, um, Nelson Mandela. Like we we realize how powerful our black is, but we don't ever truly take the, the chance to to capitalize that and truly bring it to the forefront like it is until now. And I feel like, you know, we can definitely look back to the civil rights movement. We can definitely look back to, uh, you know, the Rodney King incident, but I don't think I've ever, you know, even when I've gone back and I've tried to study history, I don't think I've ever seen it the way it's being thrown out now to where even corporations are willing to stand behind a black cause. And I hope that, what we all take from this is just it's time to destroy and rebuild what we deem to be normal because what we what we deem to be normal is often manufactured to where somebody can control it i mean if you look at kind of like how the music culture is to begin with there's typically a white leader head at the top that is approving and denying what can't happen it's never truly genuine like yeah you can have your flossy diamonds yeah you can have you know this that and the third keep rapping about your your, your money and your hoes but the second we get that impactful black music, like your your J. Cole's and your and your uh, and your Kendrick Lamar's, like yeah, they welcome that, but it's not pushed the same way as your music that can produce money, like your club bangers and things like that. So.